All right, everybody, welcome back to the Supercross YouTube channel. Uh, myself, Nick Valencia, factory rider. I'm here with Kylie Martin, one of our factory riders as well. We're gonna go through a couple of the options that are out there for the Vision F1 idlers. We're gonna go left to right with Kylie here, and then we've got a new one that's popped up that we just are gonna drop in the web store today. We'll get run through that, see what you guys think about that. Yeah, dude. All right guys, so starting off here, we have our spring-loaded idler here. That one has very low resistance because of the cog on the end there. It makes it super great for when you're wanting to turn out all of your gears for your in-betweens, similar to this one for all you factory dads out there. Next up, we have our stock idler. This comes with all of your Vision F1s. Super great for making sure that that chain tension stays consistent. And this is gonna be our newer one here. It's a little bit longer as you can see, and Nick's gonna go ahead and tell you why. So as Kylie just said, this is the newest one to hit the web store right now. Um, when we dropped the Vision F1, we kind of designed it around everybody running more of a traditional setup, maybe 4316, 4416. But as things have gotten more technical, people are looking for a little bit more gearing advantages. Um, one of our own riders, KJ Romero, our vet pro, up for the title usually, always racing well. He is running what's known as a larger gear set. So he typically runs like a 47, 17, maybe even 48, 17. So his entire gear set is a little bit bigger. So he was having issues that this original idler that you see here, you can see the size difference there. This one just didn't have the reach that he needed. So he went ahead, got with Bill, and we started getting to work on designing this longer one. This one is gonna accommodate just about any gear. It can still go short. It'll have a little bit of extra going if you do decide to run it on a 44, 16 or a smaller gear set, but essentially this is going to be what you're going to want to go with if you like to do those bigger gear sets or if you want to play around with bigger gear sets and kind of see where you land, this is going to be a better option for you. That way this one can really just encompass any gear set you throw at it. This one's going to be a good work. As Nick was saying, this process is super simple. All that you have to do here is take your idler, slip it right in that, and then put your flip chip in just like so, right over. It's all clicked and ready to go. If you like what you see, if you're interested in this one or any of the other ones that Kylie's just shown here, the team spring loaded ones or these traditional style ones, feel free to always hit that web store, supercrossbmx.com, hit that drop down menu. I always just do a search for idler, get to that page, hit the drop down menu. All the different ones are gonna be noted there. So get there, head on over. As always, like, subscribe, and we will see you at the track. Yeah.